What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Boruto. Okay, so we'll start by drawing a perfect square. Each side is 5 cm but you can draw it in any size you want to, just use a suitable paper size. So first we're going to start by drawing the shape of the face. Then I'm gonna cross the upper rectangle slightly below the midpoint just to keep the right proportions of the eyes of course and to draw the eyes you can use this parallelogram as a guideline I'm gonna start by drawing the shape of the eye and refine the eyelashes Then we'll draw his iris in the middle slightly to the left and I'm gonna draw the pupil at the center just like that we'll continue by drawing an oblique line to create the eyebrow and we'll give it a bit thickness okay and we'll do the same process for the left side Awesome, once we are done with that we can draw the nose simply by drawing two lines to create the nostrils and then we'll draw the mouth simply by drawing a curve and one line will go up towards the edge just to give him a nice smirk Awesome, and now we'll draw his two whiskers on each side We'll continue by drawing the ears, if you want you can use a roller to keep the right proportions. Awesome, so now we can draw the headband. So first I'm gonna start by drawing two curves. They're gonna cover the eyebrows just like I mentioned before. I'm gonna draw the leaf symbol right here. And then I'm gonna give it some thickness. Next we are going to draw the metal plate and I'm gonna add three bolts on each side. Awesome, so now we can start drawing the hair. So I'll start by drawing these three spikes on the front. I'm gonna connect them right there and just gonna give it a nice curve. And from that curve I'm gonna draw is a spike of hair that kind of looks like the apple stem. And to finish up I'm just gonna draw three spikes on each side. And if you want you can use this guideline just to keep the right proportions. Although it doesn't have to be identical. Awesome, so once we are done with that I'm gonna get rid of all the unnecessary lines and we move to draw the torso. Okay, so I'm simply gonna start by drawing two lines to create the neck. Then we'll draw the color of his vest. And to create the shoulders and the arms, I'm just gonna pull one line here and another one will go down. Awesome, and now I'm gonna refine the vest. Add some creases. We'll draw his shirt underneath. 
the collarbones and his necklace. And to draw his jewel, I'm simply gonna start by drawing the shape with a rectangle. Then I'm gonna indicate the thick area. We'll draw two tiny rectangles on each side. And then simply indicate a spiral. Awesome, and to finish up the sketch, I'm just gonna refine the color just by adding the zippers. And some creases right there. And some more creases to the shirt underneath. Awesome, so once we're done with that, we can start the inking process. So I'm gonna start by using a 0.1 black pen and just gonna ink this entire drawing but for the face I'm gonna use 0.05 and 0.03 just because I want to get a thinner line and be as precise as I can. Awesome, so once we are done I'm gonna take the notorious track wall eraser and get rid of all the lead and we'll use the exquisite eraser stick for those stubborn areas. Awesome, so we can start using the Copic markers. So those are alcohol based markers which means they can blend very well. If you look at your top left of the screen you can see the exact number of Copic I'll be using. I'm gonna start by coloring the vest and I'll start by using C7, that's dark grey. Just gonna fill this entire area by using fast brush strokes with a direction of the line. Now I'm gonna add more layers to create those shaded areas. I'm gonna do some blending with C5, that's a brighter grey. And then I'm gonna use the black color pencil just to get a much deeper shade. Awesome, and we'll do the same to the left side. For the shirt underneath, I'm just gonna use C1, that's a very bright gray. and we'll color the zipper with C3. Next we'll use the reddish pinkish tones for the sleeve right there. I'm gonna blend them using the brightest color and then add the darker tone to the edges. And I'll do the same process for the color as well. As you can tell, the blending gives it a gradient effect. Awesome, and before we'll do the same for the right side, I'm gonna color his color with C7. And we'll color his necklace as well with cool grays. Awesome, so now I'm gonna color the right side of the vest and then we can focus on the face. Okay, so to color the face, I'm gonna use two colors. I'll start with the brightest color, I'm just gonna fill this area. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we'll color the shaded areas using a darker tone. And then I'm gonna blend it using the brightest tone again, just to add more saturation. Awesome, so I'm gonna do the same process for the face and I'm gonna leave a tiny blank area on the nose. We'll add the shaded areas with a minimum use, the shade from the hair below the nose, all around the borders of his face, the wrinkles next to the eyebrows, and just like before we're gonna blend it to get a nice gradient. Awesome, so to color the eyes, first I'm gonna use a C1 that's a bright gray just to get a nice shade. Then we'll use B00 for the iris and I'm gonna leave some blank areas. Next we'll use B02. BG05 that's a bit darker. We'll blend it all and then add more shade with BG05. Awesome, so we'll get back to the eyes later just to add some highlights. But for now, I'm gonna color the eyebrows using Y08. And I'm gonna add some soft shade just by using Y21. To color the metal plate, I'm gonna use the cool grays again. And just like before, I'm gonna leave some blank area just to get a nice highlight. Once we are done with the metal plate, I'm just gonna color the headband with C7, the same color we used for the vest. And now we can focus on his hair, so again I'm gonna use Y0 edge just like I used for the eyebrows. I'm gonna color with the direction of the spike with fast brush strokes. Then I'm gonna add some soft shade using Y21. I'm gonna add some saturation using Y08 again. And I'm gonna use a very bright yellow just for those edges. Awesome, and I'll do the same for the rest of the spikes. And I'm gonna leave a blank area to each one for the highlights. Awesome, so to finish up I'm gonna use the colorless blender just to get a nice blending all around the hair. And finally I'm gonna use the white pen and add some highlights for the eyes just by drawing a dot right next to the pupil. And we are done everybody. This is how we draw Boruto. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, I upload new videos every weekend and make sure to hit this notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. 
hit the like button to support my channel. That's it, thanks for watching of course, keep being awesome and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.